right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna put this damn myth to bed that you don't need to preheat the catalytic converter. All right, 67 degrees. That's the probe shoved in. See a little piece of catalyst in there. Okay, I cut it out from a substrate. It's one inch thick, approximately one and three quarter inch diameter. One and seven eighths, one or the other. HHO goes in here. It's all sealed tight. There's six of the ceramic paper disc cut for here. Okay. I'm going to hook up the HHO. I'm going to let her run full. I'm going to let it take its course so whatever happens, happens. Pops, flashes, explodes, whatever. You can see we're at 66, 67 degrees. So we're cold. We're not, nothing's preheated. All right, I'm going to turn on the HHO. It's on. Okay. Now right, let's keep an eye on this temperature. And turn the light back on. All right. I'm going to back up, but I'm going to zoom in because I don't want to stand near that thing if it's going to explode. I had one pop on me the other day. I'm not. I'm not. Don't want to have that again. I think I crapped my pants. <laughs> well, not really, but. Okay. What's going on here? some hissing. I wanted to make sure there wasn't a blockage in the line. Something is blockage because my cell is starting to hiss. So it's got a bit of a leak somewhere. So I'll kill the power and I'll just whatever's coming through the lines is going through the line. I don't want to cut or edit the video. Even though I do a poor job of videotaping, I want you guys to see that you don't need to preheat this stuff. You just pump HHO through it, and you get some serious temperatures coming off it. And if in a short amount of time as well. So I'm just gonna pulse the I'm gonna put some more HHO on. And let it push through the cat some more. It just climbs steadily. Again, I don't know where the blockage is. Something's blocking in the system. The hose. I don't know. Maybe the flash arrestor is getting wet, and plugged up. I don't know. I'm right, gonna let it run. You, know, you can see how fast it's climbing, even with the, you know, a little bit of hydrogen. I'm just gonna let it keep going. I keep adding hydrogen. And Let it keep reacting. Yep. You can hear that hiss. I got a little bit of a gasket leak on my cell. Building pressure in the cell, that's why. What do we got now? 377. Again, I don't want to cut the video at all. I want you to see this real time. Is there anything glowing in there? Slight amount of pink. Yeah. We're only at 440 so far. Let's take it up some more. <coughs> Excuse me. Now if it pops, you'll probably see the camera do one of these. <laughs> As I jump. <laughs> I don't know if it will pop or not. I imagine it will at one point. As it gets red hot, it'll probably the ceramic paper that I have is not as good as what's on order. So so far, it's stopping a flash. The heat's not getting back to the to the uh, torch tip. 540. Just keeps going.
Now remember I keep shutting off the HHO because I got a leak in my cell. Go figure, Murphy's Law. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Six hundred and twenty seven degrees. Oops, six thirty. <laughs> now all we're forcing through, there's no ambient air, just HHO being shoved in through that substrate. And again, it's a one inch thick slice, one and three quarter, one and seven eighth diameter. So there's no ambient air going in. Let's have a look in the end. Nope, it's not even glowing red yet, so it's not making it on this side of the substrate. Let's give it a bit more. I can smell that exhaust pipe that it's installed in. It's starting to burn off the oils that are on it. I can smell it. See a bit of a tough to smoke. Seven hundred. So I guess we could decide how, what temperature we want this to stop at, and we could pulse the HHO into it with a solenoid, which is a thermostat coupler, a pressure sensor on the cell to keep that from overpressuring. It could be an automated heater, very simple. We're seeing 720 so far. Now that would be under the flower pot idea that we've been discussing on the forum. That would be quite the quite the flower pot heater. Definitely something a candle couldn't achieve. This would blow that out of the water. If a candle can make a difference in a room, what could this make a difference? You could keep this like Justin was saying around 15, 20 watts. I'd like to see this up over a thousand degrees without without popping. Let's we'll see what happens. Not even glowing red inside. Oh, and this cell is running off of a 12 volt battery sitting on the floor. Solar powered, sure. Why not? Is there a threshold of temperature? I don't. I don't think so. I think this would keep going until it melted down and, and melted itself. But there's a lot of crap going around that uh, it'll melt and fuse itself together and put off noxious fumes or hazardous fumes. I don't see anything coming off of it. We're running at 800.
800 degrees. Now, brand new catalytic converter with no soot crap in it. I don't understand what could be burning off that could do damage to you. The platinum group metals don't can't be destroyed. You can melt them into a blob, and that won't come to a dust where you would actually breathe it. This is getting into 11, 11 minute video here. You see, it's 800. And I'm gonna say 30 because we know it's gonna go there. Degrees. Very hot. I can smell the tape starting to. Yeah, yeah, you can feel the heat coming off that. It's starting to get hot back to where the HHO is going in. So I imagine that's gonna flash back sooner or later. Right up at the front here, very, <laughs> very hot coming off. So imagine that in a clay pot heater instead of a candle. Thanks for watching guys. There's lots more to come. This is something that's just amazing. And uh, I see some real world value to this. Something that can help the people that need it the most. Again, thank you for watching. Bye for now.